me and Andrew Tate finally did an MMA fight. We finally signed up for it. <laughs> It's been a long time coming, and I appreciate sure. you coming. But I just want to know before we start: is yeah. this you working off Mike's debt with me right now? So I didn't know he had a debt. He told me about it, but I had agreed to come on here before I knew that I'd be doing Mike a favor. So that that was just the extra push of how he fucking scammed me with his old heroin addict tendencies. And yeah, he still has them, by the way. And yeah, they'll, they'll never go away. Oh yeah, for sure. He's an ex addict. And speaking of that, I just got a comment. I hearted it. It was my favorite comment. They said, the richest and most famous guy, former drug addict that loves to talk a lot, awkward guy who sucks at podcasting and, and walks off a lot. Sounds familiar. Number one podcast in the world. That's kind of the setup we got going on here. Unintentionally. That's the model for, These are just, for a good podcast, huh? <laughs> most famous guy, a former drug addict. Well, Steven, then that would but he, yeah, he, make you the awkward guy. Who's, that sucks who's at podcasting, sucks. but he walks off every episode. <laughs> Is so that true? Oh, yeah. When I was watching your guys' situation, I got pissed off at it. I, yeah. I felt very emotional. Yeah. About it. I felt very strongly. So much so that I called Steven right after. I said, did you see the episode? And he was like, yeah, man, fucking Team George. Yeah. I was like, Fuck, if you yeah. ever think of doing that, <laughs> I will pull you outside in the living room and punch all your teeth out so you can never do a podcast again. If, if I don't think you would because of uh, like uh, no liability out. in the workplace. It was just, I mean, just goofing around. Do you guys bully him though? Because <laughs> Yeah, I get cornered every podcast. Okay. Well, you're in the corner. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> he does this on camera. I don't Off camera, he does a bunch of gangster <laughs> shit. He's pressing people. You know the situation. It's I told you. I called you guys for advice on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. I heard you're pretty rowdy off camera. <laughs> yeah, show, show them your little pocket knife. I did just get this for defense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nice. Was a good one. nice. Boys, I want to protect myself. I told you, you, when someone I told you, you, you better make you. the first hit count. First, like, three, dude. What, the, what is that going to do? What is that going to do? Right th in the jugular. <laughs> right in the oh, neck. You're going to, oh, my God. <laughs> It seems like you got that dialed in, man. What was that? Seems like you practiced that move. Yeah. Are you fucking drinking Gatorade, bro? Steven, come on, get man. Get the fuck out of we here, Steven. I didn't get a prime. No what are you talking about, Steven? I was the only one that didn't You're get a prime. You're not going to drink Gatorade in front of me, dog. The fridge no is wonder you walk. You're not fucking thinking. Dog, no. Bro, who's believing That's who? cardinal you sin, You see dog? what I'm talking about? Fuck you that. see what I'm saying? It's like he fucking purposely fuck does yeah. this shit. No shot you actually brought a Gatorade. I can't believe the disrespect. Steve, I should walk. I should oh, walk. No, 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 no. We're off to you a good fucking you, star you, here. You owe an apology. Not to me. Not to me. To your health. To your body. Your well-being, bro. You're not going to drink a Gatorade thing. It's no. going to actually do anything Time's good for you. way better. And it tastes better. Zero, 20, electrolytes. That's fucked up. Steve. You see what I'm saying? You just bullied him instantly. And you've been I here had for, to. For I had three no minutes. choice. He makes it so easy. I come on here and he just gets me into these traps where I'm just roasting him. I'm just, you know, jabbing away yeah. at him. But you know what he does off camera. You heard when he got in that beef with Kyle that, you know, that, Dude, that happened off. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not an internet gangster. You're a real life gangster. No, but I'm on the internet, you're, you're simping for the comment either. section. Why you keep punching neck. the plant, Dude. It's touching my neck. The new beef is these two over here. So Cody was saying that if Steven pulls that shit on him, then he's going to film it with a 360 camera so no angles are missed. <laughs> and this would go, this some good 360 cameras out now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of that, we're going skydiving tomorrow morning. Solo or tandem? Uh, I'm going to go solo. I haven't gone in a long time. But I am licensed. I just got to refresh how many, it. How many jumps you got? Like 30. I'm about the same. So is Jeff. We're both licensed. Do you want to come licensed. tomorrow morning? Oh, you're not, you didn't get it? I, I got to do the packing class. The packing class the packing sucks. Class. I just do you paid know them that's, that's why I I will not skydive. You wouldn't want to pack your own shoot. I don't. I don't. But still, it's just like I don't like the waiting process, bro. I'm a spoiled fucking bitch. Like, I don't want to wait for someone else to pack a parachute that is going to determine whether I live or die. Yeah, I'd rather I, not know anything about it. I seen them. They got like rubber bands around their fingers because they get calluses and blisters from just packing shoots all day. And you pay them your like $20 tip. Hippies, they got no shoes on. They're walking all on the shoot. I don't shoot. know, bro. Like the, my second solo jump, <laughs> the person who I let pack my main shoot didn't do it right. And the shoot didn't fucking open. Oh, that's right. You had a cutaway. Yeah, my second solo jump, dude. I'm getting fucking anxiety right now. Because I feel like you lose it after you don't do it for a long time. And we're doing it tomorrow for... There's a big reason behind it. We're doing it with Nerf's ashes because Nerf passed and we're going to oh, go send him off yeah. a nice memorial. Oh, that's cool, man. Cody's been there throughout his whole life, most of the ride. He took a little vacation in between, but you know he came back out here for that. We're going to send Nerf off. Hold on a second. Is that heaven I hear? That's where Nerf's at. Nerf's a fallen skydiver. <laughs> That's what they do for uh, fallen skydivers. That's the tradition. They'll 
dump their ashes out of the sky while skydiving. And Nerf loves skydiving okay. so much. But do, have you checked with the... Who, where are you jumping? Have you checked with Paris. the jumpers? Out of a hot air balloon. And we're jumping with... You know the kid that goes, uh, yo, you got the framer right, Justice? Yeah, you of got course, the, the bartender. We're bringing him, too. Yeah, and he's very good. That video got 100 million views. Of so. him just hanging there? Yeah. yeah. And then he says something that's and winks his, and then drops. His, his voice cracks. Wait, Jeff, you can just dump ashes like that? There's no legality to... You have to mix I mean, it with do I flour. Ask? Who do I even ask about that? <laughs> Because you can't see the ashes when you throw it. I don't even want to know what you're doing with with, with, with Nerf. So if you throw the ashes, you can't see them. But if you mix it with flour, you can see the flowers. What are you fucking talking about, This is what these people said. But it's this kid that was like, yo, Justice, you got the framing right. I know he's like, yo, so you're going to take the dog's ashes out and mix them with flour? I can't do that. I said, look, don't even tell me what you're doing with the ashes. You're like cooking with your dog's (laughs) decomposed body. You're going to just put the flour and mix it and then put it in the box and then... Just <laughs> which one of you is gonna play with the dog's ashes? I'm not doing that. I'm probably gonna do it. This guy's gonna. Get do you gonna bring a whisk? Uh, like, what are you gonna do? I'm probably gonna spoon. <laughs> I'm probably gonna spoon. You know, like no, you twist it. Add water to it yeah, while you're yeah, at well, it. Let's see what happens. You know, this could yeets, come off dude. kind of disrespectful to Nerf, but he had such a sick sense of humor. He would love this right I now. Add, add to some prime to it. Need it. Make some ravioli. There he is. Justice. You got the framing right? Got you, bro. All right. Last Frame one. Good. <laughs> Love you, boys. The, the, yeah. He winks, right? Three, two, one. The voice winks. He winks. <laughs> but it wasn't. It was a the wink wasn't that good, bro. <laughs> no, his voice he, cracked he moved on the wink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Should, should we do that? Should we recreate that with Nerf's ashes tomorrow? No, See I, you later, Nerf. No. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you got Nerf's ashes in the frame. <laughs> yeah. you got Nerf- oh my god, no, that's well, so funny. Yeah. Nerf had a dark sense yeah. of humor. He would understand. I, and I, I, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss, by the way. Thank you, thank you. I, I saw your comment on it. I know I, you experienced it in the past. We weren't that close of friends back then, but I, I know that you lost your dog to even a, a brutal attack. That must have been really tough on you. Yeah, to a coyote. Yeah, that's yeah. insane. Well I, well, I knew Nerf from when we first met, bro. Like I know how long you've had this dog. Yeah, wow, yeah. I, I've you met used Nerf. him for a vine. Uh huh. I have met Nerf. Damn. Me and Nerf went back as well. So in in a way, I was like, the fuck? what vine was it? I don't even remember. But he has to use my like bedroom dog. And, and dog yeah, for the for a, for a vine like eight I, years ago. I think it might have been a sponsored one where I needed a dog. But but yeah, dude, losing a dog sucks. Yeah, it's tough. Um, I heard that you have a wild story about that, and you want to save it for Joe Rogan, which is fair. You know, yeah. I, I understand. That's <laughs> kind of cool how you save a podcast story when you do so many podcasts that you could still have things in the bank. I have like five good ass stories for Rogan. Damn! I want, cause when let I us go get on, one of that, bro. Let's, let's you get one, one, one of those stories. I'll yeah, you, I'll give you one. Oh yeah, I, I have the list here. Fucking hit that fucking button, Kyle. Bam, 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 bam. We're getting a story and hit some Joe Rogan. <laughs> Let's hear the crazy times we're living to in. To talk about on Rogan. Oh, these are good stories. We can't get the, the dog. I, 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 I'll, right. give you the, I'll give you the dog one. Bro, this story's gangster. This Why shit you're going to love. It? It's not like a big deal, but I've just never said it online because yeah. it's kind of fucked up. Do you want us to score it? Hit him with a, I'll, hit him I'll with a, a, like a, like a like the dark knight, some noob. Okay, so here's what happened. My dog got eaten by a coyote. Kong. Kong. Little Pomeranian. Little p- tiny Pomeranian. He was barking at the coyote. He, he sensed something was on the other side of the gate and he was... I'm gonna be honest, he was provoking them. Animal instinct, they think they're big monsters. And he thought he was a big ass dog. He's one of the little dog, thought he was a big dog. So he's barking at the coyotes and uh, both of them found a a weak spot in my fence that they felt that they could penetrate and they did. They jumped over my eight foot tall spiked fence in LA. These things are nimble. Came into my yard, now you're trespassing. You've broken a law in my eyes. Yeah. Killed my, my son. Did you? The dog that I loved, the dog that I found by serendipitous nature in Ruston, Louisiana. Like, I, this wasn't like a dog I went looking for. We found yeah. each other. I loved him so fucking much. Mm-hmm. So it hurt, dude. Did Trespassed you, did you, and committed murder, two of them. Did I you saw find all, him? All on camera. Did, Someone on the Citizen app did. Damn. Small golden dog head found in my yard. Oh my head. God. They decapitated my dog. These fucking two coyotes. So now I started paying attention to their their behavior on my nest cameras. I noted their size. I noted their hunting patterns. I noted their territory. And I made a vow that I was going to hunt down and kill these fucking coyotes. Yeah. Yeah. For the first two weeks, I wore camouflage and sat outside in a tree across from my driveway with a bow and arrow. And I was very careful and meticulous. Mm-hmm. I decided to shower with no scent shampoo 
so that I wouldn't smell. Have you ever used a bow and arrow? Is it serious? Before? You swear you just I swear to God. <laughs> swear on everything you was, it like a cro- was it a crossbow? <laughs> like, it, was, it was a compound bow. Okay, so you had to pull it? Yes, you had to fucking draw the bow. I sat there for two weeks every fucking night. I have stuff to do, bro. I sat outside for five hours a night listening to Joe Rogan. That's why I was going to tell it on Joe Rogan. Wow. Listening to Rogan podcasts, waiting for these coyotes to come down as they do on my street, one on either side. They never came. I started to lose motivation. It took me two years because every time someone would see a coyote in the neighborhood, you know, you live in LA, it's, oh, I just saw a coyote, I just saw a coyote. Everyone would be like, oh. Yeah. I had the reaction of, I'm gonna fucking go get it. So, I, mm. man, I probably chased coyotes around the neighborhood like five times. Like, the bow was sitting at the front door. At wow. all times, because I knew there was gonna be a day <laughs> where I caught one of these fuckers. Sure enough, one day, my girl at the time comes home. There's a coyote outside. I was like, where is it? She's like, it's outside. And, and I was like, I'm going for it. And she didn't want me to do it. She Which was, girlfriend was she, this? It was Josie at the time. Oh my god! She, so she didn't want me to do it, and I, but she knew. Everyone knew that I was yeah. hunting this, these coyotes. They're, yeah. they're 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 the neighborhood coyotes. Logan, don't do it. Don't do yeah. it. Don't do it. Whatever. I go out there. <laughs> I have my bow. I'm standing at the end end of my Babe, driveway. <laughs> don't do it. I have my bow. I'm standing at the end of end of my driveway. It's been two years of this bullshit, bro. I don't see any coyotes, and I don't know if anyone knows about coyote behavior. These things are ghosts. Yeah. Where do they go ghosts. during the day? Who knows? Mountains. It, 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 they, they hide. They don't Sleep. stop. Like Mike. They're they're incredibly the aware. They're smart. They're used to human behavior. They know what mm-hmm. to stay away from. How to attack. They, like think about it. They full on like a premeditated mission to kidnap and kill my fucking dog. I These things are the smart. Points. Yeah, they, that was premeditated. They came. Yeah. The, they came the week after Logan released his security guards that were there every night. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Every night he had a security guard in the driveway. Well, that's got to be a the coincidence. Week after, There's no, no way they tip no, off the coyotes. 100%, they tipped week them after, off, 100%. <laughs> no tip off, just smart. They were like, hey, he's no longer there. We're going for it. They're you smart. think they were watching his Instagram 100%. stories? 100%. They're much more savvy than you think. TikTok didn't even exist. Okay, Crazy so times wait, we're so, so we're at the... I'm standing at the end of my driveway with the, my fucking bow and arrow, as I've done for the past two years. And I look to my right, and at the very end of the street... One on each side, I see the two coyotes that killed my dog. Damn. And I know it because I know their body. I know how they hunt. I've studied them. They're territorial. These are the same two coyotes that jump my fence and kidnap my fucking dog. And they're coming right at me. No way. 75 yards away. In my head, I go, if I don't move, they're going to run into me. They're literally going to run into me. So I slowly turn. You think they were... Th- they were coming to attack you? No, they're just hunting. And I happened to be where they were going to go. I just happened to be there. I take my bow. I pull it back. I don't know if you ever pulled it back a, a compound bow. It's like 60 pounds. Very, very hard. Yeah. Now, now, now I'm waiting, right? Through very slow. Very yeah. slow. I don't want them to see me. They're going to run into me. The one's going to run into me. The other one's on the other side of the street. You got to even focus on your breathing when you're doing Everything. that, Everything. Right? Dog, I've been waiting for this moment for two years. I've never been this nervous Sick. in my life. Heart's my pounding, heart is pounding, pounding out of yeah, my yeah. fucking chest. This is it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. And now I have to make the decision, which coyote am I going to go for? I have one arrow. The one that's coming at me or the one that when he gets across from me is going to be broadside. I choose broadside. I slowly mark my aim at this coyote and I'm following it. It's 9 p.m. at night. Goes into the shadows. I did not account for this. I forgot it's fucking dark and you can't see shit through a, a crossbow scope at this hour. Mm-hmm. You can't see anything. I lost him and I'm colorblind. I can't see anything in the dark. Oh so I'm like God. tracking what I think is the coyote. He gets across from me. Pull the trigger. You shot your neighbor's dog. Oh my God. No, you did not. I shot my neighbor's dog. You no, killed your neighbor's not. dog? No I way. Shot my neighbor's dog. <laughs> no, <you did> not. <laughs> no way. What the fuck? That's a story. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Uh, I thought, I thought you got I some know. sort of revenge or something. You know, I thought you were going to say that you shot through one coyote's neck and the arrow took no, out the no. other coyote. No, no. It was yeah. a, you it was killed a, two coyotes with one arrow. One Doberman, actually. You really shot your I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, fuck, fuck, fuck. fuck. My bad. I won't talk. I won't talk. Finish the story. Finish the story. I killed a Doberman. No, no, no. no. That did not no, no. happen. So, dog, I pull the trigger. I see a spark on the ground. The arrow hits the ground. Psst. Oh. Obviously, I fucking miss. I shot in the dark. Yeah. The one that was about to run into me skirts the other way. The one I shot at skirts down the street. I'm like, fuck! That was it! You lost your opportunity. I had waited two years and I fucking blew it. I was never going to get better than that opportunity. So I go to get my arrow and I pick it up. Some, some fluid on it. Some sort of... I rub my hands. I bring my flashlight out. 
Turn my flash out and look at my fingers. Oh, that's crimson. No. That's fucking red. Just like, like clipped them. Just like this. What what happened? So I look down at the street. Blood splatter. Three steps forward. Blood splatter. Three steps forward. Blood splatter. Holy shit. Holy shit, I pierced oh, this yeah. fucking coyote. I didn't know what happened, because physics don't make sense. You saw, I saw the arrow hit the ground, the spark. I have it on video, I can show you. You see the spark. So I don't know if it bounced off the ground or like- Went through him. Went through him and like yeah. then hit the, I don't, I, I, to this day I have no fucking idea how this happened. And by the way, this was a miracle shot. I walk to the end of my street about 40 yards and there's the fucking coyote. Wow. Couldn't have lived for more than five seconds after I shot it, because turns out, direct shot through the heart i could not believe one in a billion shot bro i was basically with my eyes closed could not have been cleaner the thing didn't make a peep it died as fast as an animal possibly could have uh -huh. with this kind of with oh this kind no of hey, look it's vengeance justice was served oh, 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 those oh. were murdering i dogs. was fucking pissed so but what, I got him. What'd you do with the body? Yeah. Uh, you just left it there? Um, that's some gangster shit. That's I gangster. got him. I should have peed on it. The body, well, I'm done disrespecting the dead. Were you like yelling in the middle of the night like, Cody, <laughs> this is what you wanted? I was saying exactly oh, what you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to go viral? <laughs> you want to go viral? <laughs> <laughs> I five star frog splashed him. All right, nice. So I put him in my, my ice bath uh -huh. because I had a sick twisted plan. You ate him? No. So, this, this is where the story gets a little sick. This is where the story gets a little fucked up. If it's not already fucked up by killing a residential coyote, Whatever, go for it. We can always. Know, by the way, these coyotes kill one dog a month in my neighborhood. Like some something had to be done. And Bro. by the way, I looked up the legality of it. It's legal if a coyote is on your property and you have a crossbow. You can't use a gun. You have to use a crossbow. Really? Wow, yes. you looked. So that's why you got the crossbow. Of course. You, you did your research before. Of course, of course. I, I, dude, I trained the crossbow <laughs> to, to kill this coyote. Anyways, now I have this coyote body. Right? What am I gonna do with it? Well, I already knew. I'm obviously getting a taxidermied. Show it off as a yeah, trophy yeah, now. It's my fucking trophy. And I, 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 I was. Is this yours? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that might be the one. That's a, that the old house? What phone did you take that on? A sidekick? I got this, I got this coyote that's taxidermy. That's but, uh, it I, looks like your ranch. I wanted, to, I wanted to get it taxidermied licking its own ass. Yeah. Because, like, I. No, really. <laughs> Why you say it like that? No, because it's just funny that, like, no, you, you, you just said, like, I, I, I can't think... disrespect the dead. Like, you can't do that. Like, oh, no, he's going to be canceled for killing the coyote that killed his dog. Yeah. Anybody that gets mad at you for that, even if you want to put him licking his ass, who gives a fuck? <laughs> well, 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 that's where I got too far in my own head. Yeah. I said, you know what? He, I served my purpose in, in uh, uh, claiming vengeance for my dog. I'm not going to embarrass him for the rest of eternity. So I got him looking kind of badass, kind of stoic, in his, even in death, because, you know, we had a back and forth. We had a back and forth. It was survival. It was survival of who was the most fit at the time. And my dog was not prepared for a battle of that proportion. And that coyote was not prepared for uh, uh, and my, my patience. weight classes, too. He had no idea I was you 210. You the Pomeranian was two pounds? Not your weight. I'm yeah. saying the coyote first. Yeah. You know? It's not fair. No. Way different. Train him. Like He's not, he wasn't I mean, super he trainable, bro. This was one of those dogs where his tongue's always hanging yeah. out of his mouth. <laughs> Sideways. I, not, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. This dog, his tongue was always out of his mouth like this at all times you've seen these dogs like they're not trainable the thing will get dry because it, it just hangs out it would just get dry and like white over time and sometimes dude it would hang out like like two three inches i didn't know a dog's tongue could be this long do you understand there what I'm saying? Is, See, there you, it is. You're, you're there shocked. It is. Look at this wow. fucking dog. <laughs> yeah. He skips leg day. Um, so, so yeah, bro, I fucking killed the coyote because he killed my dog and I was pissed. You know how they was, say dogs I don't look like their, their owners yeah. too? Like he, lo he was like your son. That was my guy. Know? That was my guy. That's yeah. the story, bro. I'm oh sorry God. I was so long-winded. No, bro. Wait, I mean, lost I, him. Do you, okay, they might listen. make a movie on that, you know? They might, we could maybe sell this for make a movie yeah. or something, yeah. you know? Like a thriller, have the guys that directed uh, Uncut Gems do it. 100%. <laughs> you know, that'd be fucking badass. Just Great movie. Scored like crazy, him hunting down the coyote. Wow, bro. It's well, a big moment for me. Well, thank you for sharing that over here on Jeff FM. I, I can't believe you gave us that story. That's wild. <laughs> Mike really must have fucked up big time here that you're coming so on what, here. So what do you keep saying? Because uh, um, as far as I understand, he used your footage you sell him in his drugs? Drugs? Mike's Mike's my good friend, and I'm grateful to have him around especially you know at this point in my life i'm just looking for real guys Cut to hang shit, out with Jeff. What, you know what 
wait, you're mad at him because he used your footage? So I, I go vlog with him. You know the deal. When he asks you to do night shift things, it's fun once in a while. But then he's like, okay, come on a five-day trip with me. And all I, I want you to do is be in the vlog all day long. I got things going on. I got a crew. I got people that I got a mouths to feed, you know? So I'm like, look, let me just get this one thing. We did the impulsive parody. It was a funny bit. I got your reaction to it. I was going to have a great clickbait. Yeah. Logan Paul confronts me for making fun of him. It's it would have fucking crushed it. But no, no. Mike said... Hold on, let me have David film it. We'll send you the footage. Malicious, shysty, heroin addict activity. <laughs> he might not do heroin anymore. Get Mike on the phone. Let's call him up and, and get I him say in here. Because I feel from I, someone who has also been that through a actually, thing or two. Okay, <laughs> You've been through a, th a thing or two. I call him and I say, "Can I see the video before it goes up?" He doesn't show me the video before it goes up. All this shit was premeditated. Yeah. Like the coyotes, yeah. they knew what they were yeah, gonna yeah, do, yeah. and he's. Lucky, I don't fucking hunt him down. Bro, you got it. You this. got it. Some about Mike, you got to know. He's smart, man. Uh huh. No, and, I know. And he'll get you if he wants to get you. I mean, I should probably wait for him to be on on the line here. But his excuse for it all was, "Oh, it was my editor's mistake. You edit your own videos." <laughs> and <laughs> and even if you did, yes, he does. Even if you did yeah. have an editor, yeah. oh, your editor accidentally went and downloaded our episode, cut that into yeah. it, and played this whole thing. Bro, he used your content in a in a YouTube video. Uh, yeah, but then, Jeff, this sounds like some real internet bullshit. You got to get over it. It, you really got to get over it, dog. Don't dick ride. Are you, you're <laughs> fucking done, too. I knew this shit was going to happen. All you guys are going to side with Logan. What happened no, to you? It's just the fucking footage. Who cares? <laughs> dick rider. Dick rider alert. <laughs> dick rider alert. Jeez, bro. <laughs> 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 dick rider alert. Oh, we need I knew it. Oh, we need Logan's sound. on the fucking <laughs> shelf. Let's all agree with him. This is not impulsive. <laughs> Jeff, all right? Jeff, I think Let's he's not right, though. Yes, it, it's not Logan. about siding with him. I think it's just control your emotions, man. The fuck up. It's just fucking YouTube. It's just YouTube, You can feel some new shit. It starts here. So I had a brand deal in the video. Now I lost it. No, you did it. Thousand dollars, I'm out. <laughs> real, so Mike not real. Me. Real or no? Mike, oh yeah, real. You want to know the brand? Yeah, Rhino Shield, great cases. Rhino Shield, you know, drop test ten feet. Why would you have lost it though? Because now I don't have a uh, clickbait, I don't have a video, and I'm, I'm just. <laughs> yes, you do. You had to use six seconds of your footage. No, it was two minutes, and he used two minutes. It was two minutes. I timed it, and I have that camcorder that I roll around with, having fun, being creative, first person vlog, and getting creative shots. I remember. He hits up Kyle. And says, "Yo, Jeff said I could have all the footage. He's a real, he's a real scumbag. Huh? Never said none of that, but he took advantage of my stoner fucking editor. Yeah, he knows yeah. he's probably a little high. You should sue like, him, Jeff. That's your all fault right. for trusting a heroin addict. That's, that's a good true. point. Yeah. That's a good point. I know heroin addicts that steal people's diapers from their kids. <laughs> and they don't do even, what they don't do, even do, do with, them? with them. They don't, they don't even do, do anything with them. They sell them. Like <laughs> they sell diapers the diapers are like thirty bucks. I think they sell there them for ten bucks. Whoa, bro, is this live?" What's up, Jeff FM audience? <laughs> like, trying to stay real. off the internet until that beard grows back. <laughs> nah, I'm fine. Dude, it looks great. Stop. Well, look, thank you for sending Logan here to pay back your debt. You stole my content. You stole G's from me, and we'll call it even now. We'll just call I it mean, a 10. I mean, what's, what's the price of a Logan Paul podcast? That's what I'm beers, saying, bro. you know? No, I, could, but, I no, couldn't but, believe no. he came. Uh -huh. He just dropped the great story I was going to do this. I was going to do this anyways. I actually don't <laughs> think this pays back his debt at all. Perfect. Mike, 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 Jeff was saying the footage you stole was two minutes and not six seconds like you told me. Yeah, no, he exaggerates. He's got those heroin addict well, shysty <laughs> tendencies where he could he could just sugarcoat something or just tell you, oh yeah, it was six seconds. No, go down to it because I also have these tendencies too. You know, I've been around scumbags trying to get over me my whole life. He lives in my house. I have a guy that, I mean, I won't get into the stories about him right now. I want to stay focused on you. Mike, you took my camcorder footage, my fun little creative shots. Of I can't Freddy believe Cooper. you did that, Mike. You went in there and put them hey, all in, and you said it was my editor's mistake. I don't believe Who it. Who edits your videos? You do. Wait, wait, you're talking he, oh, about... Oh, he, gets, he gets... When he does that with the head and the wipe, that's his tell. I'm talking about a lot of things, buddy. Yeah, you're giving up. Look, see, these guys know you well. Porn stars. Are you talking about the camera? <laughs> Are you talking about the, the footage of the Jeff FM reveal? Yeah, I'm talking about multiple things, buddy. I don't know if you know this, but the footage from the Jeff FM reveal, it was shot on my camera by my videographer. Okay, buddy. okay, listen, listen. I have you saying, no, no, don't film it on that camera. Have David shoot it. We'll send you the footage. Oh, Kyle. Look at the face. Look at the face. Kyle. Oh, when he goes like I this. Don't remember, <laughs> I don't remember saying that, man. Are you sure you have... Do you have uh, you want to go edit? down this fucking road with us? We got terabytes of hard drive stacked up on top of each other in the bathroom. <laughs> I'll, I'll pull that footage out right now. Lawyer up. And you're done. You're done. Look, Mike, this, shit, was, up, this shit might sound like some YouTube bullshit, but it was premeditated. You stole from me and you lied to me. You insulted my uh, intelligence. I, wait, you betrayed can I, me. Wait, can, I, can I come clean? Please do. Okay. Oh, fuck, dude. I didn't. I didn't want to do this. So, 
I show Logan uh, all the cuts of my uh, night shifts before they go out. Yeah, and you didn't have and enough goes, Logan in that episode, so you just chose to... It's fine. No I, no, I show him everything that goes out just to get his blessing on it. And he was like, yo, this camcorder footage is really good, bro. He goes, you should use it. He said it's the middle of November. Ad revenue is I'm so sure, high yeah. right now. You Great shouldn't minus. give him this footage Think alike. I can't believe... I can't believe... I can't believe I'm being thrown under the bus. Did you make a comment on the camcorder footage? Bro, do you think Mike shows me... First off, you think I'd watch his fucking <laughs> shit? That's a good point. Uh, yeah. that, no, that's a lie. <laughs> Logan, what's your favorite program on YouTube? The parts of the night shift that I'm in. Yeah, same with oh, wow. me. That I'm, that I'm in. <laughs> yeah, I skip over the burger reviews. I don't even you give a fuck. <laughs> I, know, I know what they're going to be, you know? Uh, Mike, look, I, I'm still, you know, grateful to have you as a friend, but the reason I make such a big deal about these things is because I can't be betrayed by my my male friends anymore i just need a solid group of guys and i see that in you i feel yeah. that when we film together i even read comments they're like oh this is like jeff pre-accident and those just right. warm my heart you know because i'm just having fun with my boys yeah that's not going to continue if i'm getting fucking pickpocketed by an ex-heroin addict for content <laughs> geez take it out of my pocket but you know what it's fine i went with you for five days now you want me to go on another trip with you and guess what I'm not fucking going. No, come on, I know, Jeff. I heard. Hey, you should come. <laughs> I, heard, I already told. I already told my whole family that you're that you're not going. No, anymore. Jeff, you should come. You should come. That's fine. I'll go to my own family's house then. No, it they would were. Be weird no, they were I... upset. They were really upset. It'll be fun. It'll be fun, Jeff. Well, they should be upset at you. And after they hear their story, they'll understand and they'll side with me because they know. I'm sure you've done this to your siblings and stuff in the past yeah, too. Yeah. You know, you probably stole your sister's homework or some shit. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, let me say something serious, please, really quick. You I'm score? happy that you guys got a, that you guys got a chance to sit down together. I know Logan really wanted to do this show. Jeff, I did apologize to you for stealing the <laughs> yes, I'll say it again. Six seconds. Six seconds worth Two of minutes. content. Logan, you can go back. I'm over it. Don't, don't, don't make me go back and set a timer and just prove you wrong, because I can. I, I can. would do I think you should do that. I think you should do that. But also before I go, I just want to say the reason I'm happy to be here is because you do have one of the best audiences on YouTube. Hang up on him. Thank you. He's gone. About time. Today's episode is sponsored by Manscaped. This holiday season, I'll be giving thanks to our friends over at Manscaped. Everyone loves turkey and stuffing, but you'll be looking like dessert with the help of Manscaped's Performance Package 4.0. The leaders in below-the-waist grooming have blessed you with the ultimate Thanksgiving dinner topic. Tell your in-laws about your new cutting-edge ball trimmer and gift yourself or the man in your life the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. Trim your pumpkins and save 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash Jeff's Barbershop. This year, I'm grateful for a lot of things, but what I'm most grateful for is this lawnmower 4.0 because I don't snip my nuts anymore. Think your holiday spread is good? It's time to give thanks to the Manscaped Performance Package 4.0, or as I like to call it, the perfect package for your package. Inside, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer that Steven's holding right there next to his genitals. He will be demonstrating here live in the studio. We cannot show it on the show, but he will be showing all the guys. Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. As if this wasn't enough, it's time to do the dishes with Manscaped Shower Products. Lather some of Manscaped's refined body wash on their brand new signature body buffer and give yourself the lather and rinse your body deserve. Lose the loofah and exfoliate your mates. Gifting Manscaped is the ultimate hack to become your family's favorite, so do the right thing. On Christmas morning, I want you to go to your dad, say, hey dad, look, I got you this to shave your nuts. It'll be hilarious, everybody will love it, and then your dad gets a funny gift, but it's also something he can use. That's manscaped.com slash Jeff's Barbershop to save 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash Jeff's Barbershop. That's right, 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash Jeff's Barbershop. Be thankful this holiday season for the best gift of all from Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. All right, Logan, let's get back into you because we got you here. You know, that was a great story, but I want to like pick your brain a little bit because I know people look up to you and everything sure. and, um, <laughs> you know, fucking what time you wake up in the morning? Is it early like The Rock or Mark Wahlberg? Bro, fuck anyone who wakes up early. Yeah, because I, I, I've been on, like I've, I've stayed in houses with you, but it was on vacation. When you're in work mode. Sleeping. Really, sleeper, big sleeper. Yeah, Wait, you actually, have a child. I, actually, I so that's gonna be the one thing that's up. gonna change. Like, uh, fuck everyone who wakes up early recreationally. If you have a child and yeah. like things to do, I get it. But if you're mm -hmm. like, 
I wake up pre 6 a.m. First thing I do is hop in my ice bath. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, shut up. <laughs> Don't you know that? <laughs> but he was a drug addict and he's in jail forever. So, you, you know, know what? You know what? Actually, well, he does that now? Yeah, well, he does that now. But I cycle in the morning. I don't jump in my ice bath it. right away. Like, I'll get up because I cycle, it gets too hot. Or I'll run, or I'll swim. He did four years in prison. When I picked him up, I had to teach him what AirPods that's, were. That's you know, he, he, he didn't know about a lot of things. So you he, had to get up. He's just enjoying life. Yeah, I just, right? I just don't like to be out all night draining my body and energy because I just know that there's nothing but like prostitutes, drugs, and negativity out there. You well, know? Yeah, we're sober I now. Agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. and <laughs> we use exercise for our mental health what struggles. Time, though? What time? I've been getting up early with him here because he's still on early, that like early. prison like 7 program. Seven a.m. That's, that's acceptable. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not yeah. up like four a.m. Seven a.m. That that's see that's odd to me. That's, yeah, that's odd, odd to me. The hyper motivational guys who get up yeah. at four or five a.m. Like yeah. I, like, like that may, also doing? means you're going to bed at what like nine nine p.m. Yeah, he's nine. in bed by nine. Yeah. You, they say you're oh, your so best you're rest. so you're also a sleeper though. Yeah, like eight so, hours a day at least. No, see, bro. Yeah, I'm talking. Give me give me ten. Give me 10 hours. 10 hours, hours. yeah. Sleep. You go to bed like 1? 12, 1, wake up at 10, 10. or 11. Yeah. yeah. Sleep's <laughs> good for recovery. We're on two different levels of income. <laughs> I got to get up early to go hustle. So so I, yeah. <laughs> so I used to I used to get up early, but I got smarter. Yeah. And now I just work smarter. I, I can sleep in because I did the fucking years of getting up at a reasonable hour. Yeah, no, for sure. Were you in, in like camp and stuff? No, 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 no. Just for, just for YouTube. Just like you had to be up to vlog at yeah. 8, 9, eight. That's just what you did. So but we, but now I'm just sleeping, bro. I'm like a, I guess technically it's so weird. I'm a professional athlete now. So like I take my recovery yeah. very serious on my body. Getting good sleep will help that knee well, speed so, up recovery. Yeah, dude. I'm flying through this recovery. I'm, I'm religious about recovery. Are you I, able to talk about that at all? Because I know yeah, you Yeah, like I, I can say a little bit. But I'm 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 holding off the to the um, describe the extent of the injury. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fucked, right? So I'm fucked. Yeah, that's my, why I'm in LA. It's because I trust the sports rehab guys here. Yeah, they're the best yeah, here. Yeah. My sister had the same injury. I've always feared that because it's like my sister could do it. Like if I mess up my leg and I'm out for I don't know how long you'll be out for, but it could be eight months. It could be a year. It could be. I, I see yeah. you get, you're doing stem cells and stuff. Yeah. Are you allowed to say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. did them when I had my accident. Did you shoot them directly into the Your eye? eye? No, I, I, you can't put a fight. <laughs> where, where, where'd you put it? You got the IV. It went IV through your whole body. I, I uh. direct shot to the fucking knee bro and by the way you should have done them right in your eyeball bro you can't put a needle in your eye that's gonna do more damage put them next to put it right in your here. orbital, like orbital. Right here. put it in your orbital yeah. They, yeah. Said it, yeah. they said it knows where to attack yeah they know what's the hurt these little stem cells are smart as hell Jeff. they come from babies they come from uh, umbilical, umbilical cords. cords yeah I got, my, I got mine from Utah and, which is apparently a good spot to get them that's because where I had all, my accident you should have just got your stem cells down the street immediately by the way you probably would have been <laughs> a-okay very healthy damn right People. on the spot because yeah. the, Mor the mormons don't drink or or, or drink drugs. caffeine or do drugs so yeah. they, they got good umbilical cords damn that's a good point <laughs> yeah i have <laughs> Yo, it's kyle <laughs> kyle the sound effects are great <laughs> i i got lucky it's with better than he's in the bath <laughs> so good i'm just ima he's i'm imagining him like knees touching because <laughs> yes. it's so crammed in the tub with his soundboard <laughs> in his mind there's just a baby crying as we're ripping out the stem cells from <laughs> just throwing in a dumpster after we got all we need no bro babies don't babies don't need the goddamn stem cells we yeah. do we yeah. we're grown <laughs> yeah we need yeah. that fresh that fresh oomph in our body you're right you're right if we have this, these resources do whatever you can to heal up yeah i got lucky in utah because i i had just smashed my whole face in and i had one of the best surgeons for that in the country they said he was the second best and i was like what the fuck the, who's the first best yeah. like that's his brother no he just no chose way. to live out there this guy's story was insane my doctor that's done all my surgeries on my eye his first week on the job he worked here at uh caesar sinai yeah. and they brought a rapper to him shot up bloodied like dying it was biggie he found biggie shut and the brought fuck him in up. on the fucking stretcher shut up. yeah like wild wild Whoa. stuff i don't think i've ever said i think he asked me not to tell that story but i, I don't know <laughs> exploit I mean, whatever, him i don't know i didn't say his exploit name him, bro he killed him <laughs> No, no, no he, no, he couldn't I mean, save him. He, huh? he tri they tried to, but he was shot up a bunch oh, of times. You know, gnarly. accidents are a crazy thing. Injuries are, are crazy. I don't know. You seem like you're a pretty happy guy, and you got it figured out. You have your, your so, brain figured out. So yes and no. Uh, I'm sure you've experienced this, but injuries are the most demotivating thing in the world. I don't. I actually don't. Especially if you're like a motivated person, mm -hmm. or you have goals that you want to achieve. A routine, a routine, routine, a schedule, things in the future you're looking forward to. Mm -hmm. When that all collapses and you have to reevaluate your entire life because of a freak accident, it's like it truly, for me, it's 
it's the hardest thing to deal with in my life. Like, I, and every year I have a new fucking injury. And this, I, I've been this way since high school. As long as I've known him, I'm I'm injury prone. You bro. should be used to it. Yeah, me too. Which me which too. which is the which is the now. the latter part of this question is, uh, to, to answer yours, um, I, I am I am used to it. Like I I know how to deal with uh that type of setback and adversity really well. Yeah, really well. But for the first two days, bro, I was like fucking sad. Do you believe everything happens for a reason? Like you, you were. I think it's something to say to make us feel better about our reality. Yeah, but also like kind of, but like probably not. Mm-hmm. But like kind of, you know, you can all. It's easy to connect the dots going backwards. Yeah, and not so much going forwards. But like, it's a good mentality to digest if you're having a hard time accepting the reality that is your life yeah that's what i told myself a lot of the time I mean, me, it, too. It me too yeah, yeah it's great but i was thinking maybe yours was you way know, worse than his yeah but he was uh, but also it's very similar because you were on the top top of the world it was probably the highest point in your life and then something happens in that moment and then boom everything's mm. you know mm. like rock bottom almost and you kind of feel like no, that for sure for sure maybe it's... you were doing too much and the WWE were just beating everybody up it was a sign maybe they planned it <laughs> you know maybe... I, I, I have yet to see the silver lining of this injury but Same. M- most of the time I do I was just talking with Nina actually before uh, I came over um, and we were talking about your injury because like I guess I am curious that the difference between all of mine and yours is like yours is prolonged. That's mm-hmm. like a lifelong alteration. Yeah, yeah my, I get two more heal. surgeries next year. Oof, that's insane, dude. Three, it'll be three years in. I'm still getting surgeries. I'll probably have to do them because it's the, my eye socket's pretty much like artificial at this point. So I need to keep on. <laughs> fixing is it that up. what you're the, the terminator yeah i basically. got the steel face because my jaw broke all this side smashed, expose right? it. it looked cool i think you got brain injury ripped. no i mean yeah we probably all do doctor. i'd say like four out of five people in this room have brain injuries you yeah. know right probably yeah, yeah. logan Two, had three, one four <laughs> logan had everybody yeah, but yeah. you right yeah, i was I dropped as a kid oh so we all have brain injuries i came to the point in my life that you got to just accept injuries when you're like a high performance athlete of course and if you think about how many sports you're involved in i'm involved in skydiving base jumping triathlons yeah hiking whatever so you just got to accept it when it happens i mean there's no other way you know yeah. you got to like just try to find the good in it and like i take recovery again incredibly this is my full-time job now it's my sole reason i'm in la is so i can do the rehab here but yeah it fucking blows bro how long is that i'll be out for a little bit a while he, yeah you don't want to reveal that because it's you know i got a youtube video coming that's why that's why i, I, I watched video. impulsive I, I seen it i did my research the tricky part about my thing is is once the main thing heals we might have to get surgery on the other thing it's yeah. like a, it's like a the mri didn't reveal enough to be able to tell right now other than like we know we're just gonna rehab the shit out of it and see then once that's fi- fixed if we need surgery yeah it, whatever bro fuck whatever i'll be back in no time flat but like but how do you so why not not just fucking chill out and smoke weed for six months you know what do you think i'm doing oh are you gonna do I'm, that i'm <laughs> all my bad habits again bro i've gained i've gained weight i'm drinking i'm smoking i'm chilling because look go do some honestly, small podcasts go just, bro, i'm hanging out doing out. my podcast run <laughs> yeah but like dude for the first 10 months of this year i put in fucking yeah. work like i didn't re- i didn't realize how much I-, I had done and i'm not saying this to pat myself on the back but also yeah i fucking am like let me take one second to like acknowledge how hard i worked and how 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 much I, I I promised myself that I would accomplish. And I did. Like, I'm proud, dude. I look back at the first 10 months of the year and, like, I'm very proud of what I was able to do. Mm-hmm. And so, like, these last two months, I'm, t- like, I'm treating them like vacation because of this injury. Like, yeah, I remember even on vacation when we were in Mykonos, you were doing your emails and calls, like, middle of the day when everybody else was drinking, getting fucked up. And then you had the call where you found out that you were going to you're gonna fight yeah and that was like a huge yeah moment that, for was, you. Big. that was that was that was cool that was to see. massive man. yeah i think i think it's really impressive what you're doing i actually fought this kid in a ring for like nice two uh what we spar for two rounds three rounds oh, i was already yeah. smoked you you fought mayweather what for eight eight, eight rounds? rounds that's beast eight did his punches hurt rounds. nah there was one that he got me that made me tune in a little more like like pay attention mm-hmm. but even looking back, because he's he's doing his his rounds of fighting these influencers, and he, he I know he wants to fight again. Yeah, and like I'm I'm confident I could knock him out. I'm confident that I could be the only person to knock out Floyd Mayweather yeah. because I know he's not going to knock me out. For and he's a just getting fact. older, Dog. and, and yeah, getting getting hit more too. In his last two two three exhibitions with the no names minus Deji, who's not a no name, but still like he getting hit. Uh-huh. He's getting hit. Yeah, I'm much bigger and faster than these guys, and like I think I could. I'm also going to request if I do it a 10 round fight 
Because at eight, I was turning on. It was end of round eight. My cardio was, and I seen him breathing. Yeah. Because yeah. I was leaning on him the whole fight. He's, t- oh, he's tired, yeah, bro. Yeah, he's yeah. fucking 30 pounds heavier. It, it only takes like five pounds of pressure right here to knock somebody out. That's it? Yeah, five pounds of pressure. I remember I was, I was there when you came out. You looked at me in, in, in the yeah, crowd. That yeah. was dope. It was fun, bro. It was a fun thing. But yeah, dude, it's... uh. It's 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 been a good year. Yeah, I'm gonna make I'm gonna put out two YouTube videos, which is crazy. I'm gonna get mm-hmm. back in my creator grind a little bit. <laughs> We're hitting next year super fucking hard, so I'm just gonna let it all out. I'm gonna get it all out. Well, bro, sometimes I'll be honest. Sometimes you're doing too much. Yeah, and it's true. like discouraging to me, and uh. I'm sure other people <laughs> out there. Because I've even said on the podcast, like me, like being down and like not proud of myself. And then I'll walk into fucking Ralph's and I see a giant cutout of you and like prime <laughs> everywhere. And then I go on Instagram and it's you and, and the WWE 30 feet in the air. Flying. Oh, I'm like, bro, when is this guy going to fucking take a nap or something? You know, you know what I've done? Don't discourage yourself. I use it as motivation, but I'm saying there's moments in should. my life where it will be like, fuck, like, you know, Logan's doing so much. I don't even know if I wanted to have this much like of like all the shit I'm doing. I feel like I'm just doing it now because I'm competitive. You know, let me Which let me great. let me switch your lens a little bit because I think this is good. I'm keep, Jealous, keep it going, bro. Keep it no, you're not. No, I'm yeah. fucking no, you're not. pissed no, off. No, you're not, bro. I think people look at what I've done in my life, and if they are motivated by seeing what I do, they're motivated in the wrong way. My motivation shouldn't compel you to feel like you're inadequate. My motivation should compel you to think about how you can optimize your performance, optimize your energy, optimize your circle. Like I work really fucking smart. Mm-hmm. And because of that, that's that's first, I was able to build a foundation that has created many pillars in many industries. My foundation's really fucking strong. When we started Impulsive, I didn't know what it was gonna be. When I started the WWE, I didn't know what the fuck it was yeah, gonna be. Yeah, when you started that, I was like, I, I, was I, like, I, this, I don't know this any podcast of is gonna fail. I, I don't know, bro. Who, who fucking first wants it, to hear me talk? Podcast. I just didn't like the set. I've told you that before. Though. Yeah, it was way too cotton like, candy. This fucking set looks like a race car bed. Yeah, but <laughs> you, you yeah, know, once, now once. you guys it are did, great. It uh-huh. did. Now you guys are great, and like even the vocabulary that you guys have now, you would, I don't know if it's from Mike or I know your IQ is really high. You're very educated and well spoken, but I'm like, where the fuck are you even getting these words? What did you say? Optimize Always. seven times. Oh. How do you optimize, use optimize, dude? You I'm gotta gonna start saying that. Optimize. No, but when, once you hit the WWE, I was like, yo, Jeff, this guy's next level. We're fucking losers. That's no, what I'm no, no, bro. It took me t- t- <laughs> nine, <laughs> nine years. Nine <laughs> years to find it. Nine years. Like this shit takes time. I happen to lay the foundation really well pretty early, but like no, it's never good. too we early, did. bro. You're I got good. lucky as fuck. You're good. Yeah, Prime took nine years. Do you ever experience? laziness ever like you just don't want to like do anything for, for sure day. i'm pretty lazy i'm pretty he's fucking a lazy, lazy guy he calls he's my manager and he, he calls he, he puts me in my place he calls me lazy he calls me spoiled and like, and un- ungrateful <laughs> there's a reason why he's out here now waking up at 7 a.m waking me up because yeah. i feel like i've gotten comfortable this year and i'm almost like to the point where i just want to like give everything away and just have to work super hard again because i just miss having those fulfilling accomplishmes. like when i did this shit and then i chainsawed it because i was like not happy yeah Fuck YouTube, yeah. you know now he signed me up for an iron man that's in two weeks and Love i'm like it. bro I full iron man a half half, half. half. i've done a full you can do it i, I, done a full, I never swam but before we're doing a half i don't so know you're not a, you're not a swimmer work. like that i'll figure it out it's two be, weeks that's gonna be tough dude in the water yeah. i told ocean here uh the lake it's in uh oh that's easy in what is it palm springs yeah that's easy yeah yeah Push yourself out of your comfort zone. That's another big one. Like, mm-hmm. like, like, the, don't don't let yourself get comfortable. I that's one thing. Like, I'm lazy, but I love the discomfort. Like, fuck, fuck doing ice baths at six a.m. But in camp, I do ice bath every day. Just yeah. not six a.m. You know? Yeah. No, no, I do them in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, bro, you're fine. Yeah, <laughs> but like, get You'll uncomfortable. Survive. You'll survive that. You'll yeah, survive. And, then when, and then when you get through that, <laughs> what are you, you, you going to do? Die like, on the half? Maybe drown on the half? No, in the, the lake. Half is uh, mile the, swim, the swimming's bro? first. Half a mile swim. No, a mile. Mile. Mile, mile swim? About mile 40 swim. minutes, 35 minutes. Just swim. Keep yeah. on going. The what are you going to do? Is... Your arms going to fall off? I would drown. It's, I mean, they and might he's get... wearing a wetsuit. It's super easy. You're not going to get warm. You're not going to get warm. devices in the yeah. wetsuit? It's, it's you... cold. Oh, okay. There's probably people there ready to pick you up. No, if you don't finish, we're yeah. not hanging out no more. Straight up. You're going to finish. You're going to finish. Yeah, so we got a lot of I've done a full Ironman. It took me 14 hours. So sick. Jumping out of the hot air balloon tomorrow, skydiving, and then Ironman a week later. It's. I'm just it's throwing shit. You're into doing the more mix, than him. You know. Well, well but, right now, because of me. You, that's why I'm trying to catch up. What are you up. building? Yeah. Are you? What are you building? I can make content things. out of these things, and that's one thing. But really, it's just for the mental, and just for me to feel accomplished. Which, which is just, all fucking great. But like, I, again, my infrastructure was set up 
to build things that could yeah grow see, into like yeah. massive entities. I see what you're saying. So next we launched the deodorant, but because of the ingredients we use, we use like all natural clean ingredients. It was super hard to get the mix perfect and smell yeah. great. It's up right behind your head. Uh, try it out. You could have that one. That's an unreleased this? first one. Yeah. Oh, sick, charcoal, bro. Charcoal. Sick. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. This is so this is what we're doing next. Oh, and then we have a whole line bro. of products, but it got. And you can't control production. You know Dude, how it fantastic. is. Well, Prime, I'm sure you're yeah. stressing out because they don't have enough bottles for, for Europe and stuff. I would just get like stressed. I'm yelling at people. When is this shit going to be ready? It smells great. So I, this is great, dude. I could see you. I could see you. Can I give this? Of course. I could see you. I could see you coming up with something big like this. You and got it good. Thank you. And the hair products we have. We <laughs> yeah. have. We ha I, yeah, I know what you mean though. Everything's I, all natural. That and we have a body wash coming out that's also based off like the same charcoal style. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we've been working on and it's just on hold. So I need to do something now to feel like I, I I feel that. Fucking be limping I around, that, you know? I feel I want, that. I want my toenails to fall off from running 27 miles. If your product is good, it's a lifelong product. How many times have you switched deodorants in your life? Do you, uh, no, yeah, you find one you like. Look at the pomade I gave you. You're still using that. And you guys, you know, you find a product that works, you a stick, hair product. Stick with it. How much are you focused on uh, personal brand growth at, at all? Cause it's hard to grow like on a podcast. Like, are you are you TikToking? Are you? I know I need to do more of that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It, it just helps, dude. Like the more people that see your face, like you mm. can do stuff with that. You I can know. monetize fame. You're so good at social media strategy. That's another thing that I miss from like hanging out with other YouTubers. Because yeah, right. you actually you really know your stuff. And Mike will yell at me for my thumbnails and titles. And then I'm like, you know what? Fucking maybe sometimes I don't want to get views. I know. Yeah. Maybe I want this to be. I know like, that feeling, but that's the fucking game, dude. That's your job. You got. You got to do the best you can. And it sucks. It's such a shit grind. Yeah. You know the game. A uh, word from today's sponsors, Dadgrass. Thank you, Dadgrass, for sponsoring the show. No need to stress over the holidays this year. We've got those impossible to shop for members covered. Dadgrass now has something for everyone, including your most loved furry friends take the edge off and enjoy the season with their classic pre-rolled joints hemp flour tinctures gummies and cbd dog bones uh the thing i love about dad grass is it's not too strong and i don't get all paranoid all in my own head too high it's just the right amount of that old school weed your dad smoked. Dad grass is legal, organic, smokable hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. Their 100% organic pre-roll joints and flour are very low in THC and high in CBD. So you can enjoy the effects of CBD while keeping a clear head. And now they offer a variety of products so you can take a dose just the way you like. From their CBD tincture drops to their newly launched CBD gummies in flavors like classic blackberry, ginger, good time hibiscus lime, and nighttime midnight berry. You can chill out without getting stoned. And Dadgrass didn't forget your furry friends. They also just released CBD dog bones so everyone in the house can enjoy. Is there a fly in here? All Dadgrass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over and ships right to your door anywhere in the US. Whether you're looking for a new buzz or a chill way to enjoy an old favorite, Dadgrass will leave you in a euphoric mood. Right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash jefffm. That's dadgrass.com slash jefffm for 20% off your first order. That's dadgrass.com slash now back on with the show. Let's do a weather segment. Was Let's that John get, Cena? Get it out of the way. <laughs> nah, it's uh, Portnoy, I think. What? What's the, yeah, what's the weather? Los Good Angeles. morning, Los Angeles. <laughs> Welcome to the weather. Logan, nice to see you. Uh, Jeff, nice to see you. How you doing? Let's Today move it, I have move a it along. I have a presentation for the both of you. Why you both don't need mics? I thought this was a weather <laughs> segment. Maybe he's getting there. Right. Right? He's He's got his own way of doing things. You both use mic a lot. Right. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a lot of points of why you do not. <laughs> it's a two. Need. It's a two-way street. Uh, number one, Mike is old. Uh, okay. Uh, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mike's Seriously. almost fifty years old. He's out of touch. Yeah. You know, he doesn't get any of Fair the enough. jokes. He yeah. sits like that with his arms. He says program. Yeah. He does. He says yeah. supper. He says He's supper. supper. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys both do a podcast with him sometimes, right? Yeah. Sometimes yeah. he's a guest on our podcast, Jeff. Sometimes. He or he's a main guy. I think he only missed a couple Imagine of them, Paulson, right? A podcast with no interruptions or <laughs> stories no one wants to listen to. Now you're talking. Mike is a drug addict. Oh, um, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> he's in recovery. He's in recovery. I don't know if people know this about him. He's in recovery. He's in recovery. Right here we have your future with Malphite. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a um, screaming wow. metropolis. Damn. <laughs> you both don't need him. Uh, this, this right here shows that you both have more subscribers than him. Uh, you know, when you put it so into numbers like, like that, Numbers don't lie. Logan, this one's more for you. Okay. In the last 12 uploads, he's been <laughs> using the five of them. I'd say that's about a 50% um, rate. The other half is porn stars. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if I'm a viewer and I don't know you porn guys, porn I would have to assume that you're a porn star. <laughs> that's yeah. not the best look, you know? You had a lot of good ones in there. I love the city. Well, uh, yeah. thanks. And then, uh, just wanted to show my shirt. Nice, <laughs> nice. Right, it right, is right. every day, bro. Nice. It's every day, bro. This is the forecast. It looks Los Angeles. good. Orange County. Los Angeles. This is... This is totally off. Okay, all right. We're that. Thank you, thank you. This all was right. a good one. Uh, your job will last for at least another week. We will see yes. you. We will see yes. you next, next week. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's wrap this up. Crazy when you put it into perspective like that. And really think about it. You know, He's a horrible weatherman, but a great public speaker. <laughs> <laughs> that was, I'm just my wheels are turning yeah, now. You know. Yeah, I guess. I guess I hadn't considered what like life could like what it could look like without Mike. The technology, you know, just without interruptions. <laughs> the ideas that people could come up with. He's gotten better. <laughs> He's gotten better. There's been, there's if, been some lulls. If there's you been some if you read the comments now, yeah, they're riding for Mike. Well, that's what happened. I came in and I changed him. You know, I made him cooler. <clears throat> yeah, and that's the effect I have on people. Mike's a real one. He's not some scumbag that crashed you into a crane. That's right, yeah. Oh, I, well, fuck. I mean, he throws hurt. that in there. and you know, Not yet. He hasn't yet. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> Speaking of crane. Okay, yeah. I, I, I'm starting to feel kind of bad because, like, I don't know how long you guys go for, but is this, like, slowly coming to an end? No, whenever you want to leave. I don't, I don't, I'm, walk I'm, off right no, now? I'm fine. I'm fine. I just, like, I don't know. I don't know where we are in the podcast, but I thought for sure by now you guys would have, like, clowned me with about Japan or something or come out with, like, one of the hats on. You know, right, like, well, that's, that's low hanging fruit. We've already done that, been there, done that. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, like, I thought that's your thing to kind of, like, poke at the guest. No, that's well, a barbershop. That, this is like, we could actually sit down and talk about real shit, and then we throw in some weather segments well, now or whatever. Well, now you make me feel like an asshole, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I'm not going to climb you. I fuck up all the time. I went to prison for fucking up. <laughs> well, bro, <laughs> I, was, I came prepared yeah. just in case it did happen because yeah. I, I went to CVS before this. Yeah. And I, I spent money on a little crane. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on a little that's, crane. That's, that's actually funny. that's that's a nice gift. I got a Christmas well, ornament. I also got this eye patch too. Okay, that's too far. Oh, that's okay. fucking. That's worse than any Japan joke I, I could have ever made. Well, because I I thought I needed to come prepare. <laughs> that's what? <laughs> that's what? Bro, I was in CVS. By the way, there's a toy set. Just because I only got this out of it. It's a whole toy set, but I just took this out of it, and the rest is just sitting there. But, bro, I thought for sure I'd. I'd All right, you know what? Fucking have the Japanese kid call in and say that you filmed my dad. Let's do it. <laughs> do we have him on the line? Uh, do we have him? Up to okay, we did. We, I see. I scrapped that bit and i was like you know what fuck it but then you pull out the eye (laughs) bro you see that when you you threaten me from your podcast and i'm the guy who talks shit i didn't do nothing i was just hanging out at your party and then all of a sudden i'm getting called out yo jeff you want to run in your little hikes come fucking smart bro what's good that's what that's how i was introduced you know but from the time when you guys walked on the set at his house, yeah, yeah. You just I was, happen to I be was there. making fun of somebody else. I was making fun of Nick or somebody. I don't know. Whatever. Nick it's not Dude, anyone Nick can too. make fun of me in my own house, except that motherfucker David Dobrik. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move past it because you We're know. Way past a, it, bro. So, yeah. but, so, so you got nothing planned because now's the now's the time. Uh, just questions and stuff. Bullshit, I was going to ask you. you got, uh, do you believe in God? <laughs> yeah, I do. You do. That's good. Yeah, that's good. But um, I, I, my, my, my belief in God is probably much different than most people's belief in god Wait, so you i was just asking because that time we were on the plane and i lost my airpods and george had to talk to me about god the whole time in the bible and then you Dude, turned I around like that. yo can you shut up i couldn't i couldn't believe i could not believe that the moment we sat down on jet suite x 
George started preaching the fucking Bible to you on a plane. I, in my head, I went, Who, whoever was destined to be in that seat next to Jeff but I don't mean to did, didn't know but like, was due for a sermon. Like a full on, that guy loves Jesus. He loves Jesus so much and I love it. should be doing drugs off of hookers' ass. That guy. Yeah, so it's just some stuff society tells us to do so we don't go out murdering and, and stealing from everybody. Is, right? that what you're, is that what you're saying religion is? No, I believe in God. I like to think so. I don't know. I, I don't want to get struck by lightning by saying it's, blasphemy it's, again. And I've done it in the past, and bro, you know. it seems like a futile existence, thinking we've been put on this planet for like no reason, right? And it does. That's pretty weird. shitty. Yeah, I want something to believe in, like aliens. Mm -hmm. Like, when's this spinning rock just gonna stop spinning, and then yeah. the sun burns out or something, and it freezes up, we're all frozen. There's an death. answer to that. Is it bro? not really? Is it really spinning? They told us it's spinning. Yeah, You've seen it spin. I haven't seen it. Clouds move. I don't feel it spinning. But I go up in the hot air balloon, and I kind of see a little tilt, you know, but. Who, how does it all make sense, you know? Did you watch that show on Netflix, Ancient Apocalypse? I, I we wanted to because Joe Rogan yeah. recommended the it, right? Yeah, the guy that's on Rogan's show did all you, the time. Did you? Yeah, I watched it. I watched it. I smoked a little weed when I, I was watching it. And damn, bro, he's saying there's... Why couldn't every people 500,000 years ago that, like, had advanced technology and then something crazy happened, like we got hit by a meteor, the whole thing shifted, the ice, like, what's under there? Maybe the civilization that's interesting. or tools or something from half a million years ago so many things could happen in that time you know how long homo sapiens sapiens just like you and i have been on this planet they say only like eight thousand years right no between 70 and i think it's two hundred thousand years ago there's like evidence to support that humans just like you and i the only difference would be maybe we a don't little have bit, iphones i yeah. mean essentially a little bit of it's like it's it's a minor increase in brain development that led to the resources we have now like we we have things around us because the humans before us paved a path a certain way and and we were able to advance technology but like bro humans like just like you and i have been around for seventy thousand fucking years, and we're in we're, we're in year two thousand on the calendar. Like we've been we've been on this. Fucking you think rock. they're complaining to each other about stealing content? I think they're shit not back. That's what I think they're doing. I think they're shit not back and not shaving. Yeah, well, probably that. They're probably fucking fucking you know, big time. Yeah, no toilet paper back then. Nothing, dude. Leaves. Leaves yeah, they smoked weed. They, I don't think they had knew what weed was. Yeah, there's no alcohol back. Or no, they probably had wine. I don't know. It's true. We're talking. There's a, uh, a, a there's an evolution theory. Yeah, it's a theory, but it's uh that somehow monkeys stumbled upon mushrooms and <laughs> and that's what catalyzed the development of their brain into humans. So that's yeah, I love Liver King. That's a perfect specimen right there. I mean, that's 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 it, dude. That's peak that's, male alpha. That was two hundred thousand years ago. What they looked like going around. Hundred percent. So it was like short. There maybe no shorts on. Dude, there. I love Liver King. Do you think the Neuralink Crazy is going to make us live forever? You know, no you're gonna have shot, your consciousness bro. around. Would you want to live forever? Well, it wouldn't be me. You would be in like a different shell of a, of yeah, a human. Yeah, but you know? it I don't think it would be me. How do you think Pete Davidson's fucking all these hot girls? Let me tell you something about that guy. Then go ahead. He's unbelievable. I know. It's nuts, huh? And he's from Staten Island. Talk about getting jealous of other guys' success. <laughs> You're He's supposed from, to be that from guy. My hometown. You're supposed to be Pete, dude. In another life, you, know, you were the guy from Staten Island. Too, like, there's I a know. Lot of power. And he's younger than me and fucking crushing it and it is what it is. I'm happy for him that he, you know he's putting Staten Island on the map. We should have known this was going to happen, bro. When em when the news came that Emily Ratajkowski and her her boyfriend broke up like and then Pete and Kim broke up, we should have fucking known like obviously it was They gonna... were all saying Giselle Wow. So kind of no, but that's st it. that could still be on the hit list. Like that dude is a fucking demon. It's insane. And and there's a pattern. There's a pattern. I hope the relationship with Emily and anyone that Pete ends up being attracted to works out. You never want to see How come these they never work out? You don't well, have competition no more. A, well, you're taking now. Fuck, there's a pattern, Jeff. What's the pattern you see? I you don't like know. patterns. I don't know because I'm not in the relationship. But the pattern is Pete Davidson's relationship tend to fall apart around you know. I don't know, months four, in, six months in. in. Like, like months, they yeah. just fall up. There's, there's obviously something. Ariana Grande. There's something. We don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's going to happen in the same amount of time with Emily. And then he's going to probably go for Giselle next. <laughs> with like a dog. But there's no, Is it never funny happened. for a period of time and then they're like, this is just annoying? You know what I think it is? It's like SNL. Yeah, it's funny for a little bit like, now. Shut it's up. Like, Get away. No, no, no. You know what I think it is? I think Pete's got some demons. We know that. And I feel, yeah. and I feel for him. That. I feel like he, he's got to do yoga. I know what you mean. I, I, sometimes, like, I can't stay in relationships because I feel like I got too much on my mind. I share too much on my podcast. You know, it's like I have demons. I'm life, still, yeah. I'm still, like, you know, battling some stuff. And I feel like I can't jump into a relationship right now. 
but you know i'm not with like the girls pete's with i don't think what he's done has ever been done before that's he, not true no the, I'm, the, the no, hottest like, girls who, like, in the world like, how is that possible like maybe so. maybe like dicaprio, DiCaprio. But, but he's like around uh-uh, uh-uh. i was not watching even. i was watching barstool this morning and they, they were they were saying the difference is like almost every single one of pete's girls are our A-listers? Yeah, Le- that's what it is. Leo isn't always; they're not always A-listers. Leo would like go good find models. models and Houston, like, yeah, they're top tier models, but yeah. like like A-listers who Brad are like Pitt. Brad Pitt, really? Probably one of them. Yeah, so but, but, but Brad Pitt is also an A-lister. Is yeah. Pete is Pete an A-lister? I don't think so. I think mm. now from dating everybody, he is yeah. not, for his, not from his movies. No, I would put him in a B or C. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. He he's a star because of his dick. Yes. That's yeah. fucking insane. He don't even is have he a porn star. Is he a porn star? I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. He's he's, he's dude, funny. He, the guy, and he has no social media. Like this guy can't be discounted. He's incredible. Yeah, he's I know. Incredible. I know. I know. He's yeah. cool. He's cool. He's fucking. He has it. no social media, <laughs> I dude. Know, I know. He's not living in. The, he's not playing the same game as we are. I'm yeah. scared for him. Why? When does it end? When does it end for him? When Because we do social the, media. That's a toxic shit. You think there's a shelf life on this? Are you going to hang it up soon and just do straight up wrestling only? He's doing Rubik's Cube. Let me tell you something. We'll be doing this shit forever, dude. You'll be fucking a slave in your closet, in your apartment for as long as time will tell. I'll be fucking a, what? In my, what? You're going to be slave in your own apartment. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's okay. Maybe Sit, Sitting here, sitting here, your hair will be probably lesser. Grayer. Your, your, your beard gray, will be salt and pepper. For sure, yeah. Look good. I guess you're right, you know. Kyle's going to be back there, stuck in the tub. <laughs> Pro- probably moved on to a harder drug instead of weed. <laughs> we're going to make it out. <laughs> Look at his seat. The, no. Look at his we're seat. We're going to make it out of the tub one, one of Kyle, these days. Kyle, what's next? For who? For you. I don't know. Do you want to be Mike's videographer? No, let's no. talk about drugs. Oh, <laughs> no. I'm sticking to weed and shrooms. I'm cool. Good, good. I did therapy today. Uh, I just started therapy. It was my second time. Right. And my therapist said that I should consider moving to like Nashville or Shut somewhere. Shut the front door. And I was like, okay, I don't know about that right now. And then he was like, have you tried ayahuasca? Is this normal for therapists to say like go on an ayahuasca retreat? You know what you should have said? Have you tried ayahuasca? <laughs> he, he did. I asked that. How many times? This is a tell. Oh, I didn't ask how many times. You should have. I just... If this guy's relying on ayahuasca and is like... Yeah. Rep- repeatedly going to do ayahuasca and yeah. that's his solution you no need good. a new fucking therapist you do therapy right i've tried to do therapy but i keep finding it sort of futile for me and you got no, no fucking problems up there i dude <laughs> i have i have i'm like an addict in many ways but yeah. i'm like i got no demons you're focused bro. I'm, then, yeah. I'm very blessed there are no one mike and i talk about this shit you like you tune out you're like all right it's just I, truthfully bro it's hard for me to relate like the one yeah. time the one time that i understood the depth of mental illness was this is gonna sound pathetic to some people but some people will get it is uh when i was going through weed withdrawals i think i had what's it called um cannabinoid hyper hypermesis or some shit like a real bad version of of weed withdrawals fuck this is bad but I like didn't want to live. Yeah. Like for the first time in my life, I had no desire to like continue living, and I was like, "Holy!" Because of weed. With the, not With having drawers? it. Not having yeah. it. Yeah. Damn you! I, I was smoking a pen, a weed pen, incredibly potent, and mm-hmm. these strand strains now are are so fucking strong. It's like not even strains of oil. It's it's it's. it's even, yeah. I was smoking a weed it's pen like every day like a vape, bruh. Like this is when you're dabbing. doing the originals, yeah. flying all around at the, at the tail end of the project. Hand. Yeah, at the ta- at the tail end of the project. Well, bro, it seems like there's a pattern here. It's a slippery slope when you get injured. I hope you don't become a dr- big drug addict again. Seriously. You know? No, no, no. He, no, he, that's what that's what cards, Jeff's here though. for. You can't fuck with the cards. I only so, do the flower. So I learned. So I learned yeah. that, Kyle. That was that was that's my yeah. solution. Now I, I, I all I do is oh, you 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 experienced it. Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. insane. I hated it. I hate Gnarly. I wouldn't wish that type of the pain that I had personal mental torment is like the worst pain ever dude i felt all types of physical pain and i would trade in all of them at the same fucking time instead of my mental torment so like i in that regard i totally get when people when people uh uh, have their own demons and and uh, personal hurdles that they want to jump but truthfully i'm blessed i'm very blessed i'm blessed with a pretty healthy uh mind did you see the fights? Yeah, man, I feel fucking bad for Izzy, dude. Yeah, that was rough. That sucks. That really sucks, dude. That guy, Pierre, is a bad dude. I just saw a clip. His sister, he has a sister that fights. 
and she fights exactly like him. No way. It's nuts. No Oscar, way. Can you find that clip? Please find that. <laughs> yeah. Bro, it's it's fucking yeah, dope. She's bro. badass. She's just it dropping just, it people, just, same technique. That's it's insane. Just runs in the family. I mean, look at you guys, you know? But it, we 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 fight vastly different. That's and true. And we're different athletes, too. Yeah. I feel bad for Izzy because that was the one guy, who, and I know what a loss feels like. That was the one guy who he couldn't beat in kickboxing. I know. Switched leagues, became a champion, and then the dude beat him in his own fucking and new league. he had him rocked in the first round, ran out of time. I know! He was winning the whole fight! He would have won the fight. If he would have made it out round five, he would have won the fight. But, I, like, talking about what we talked about earlier, like, the you know, everything happens for a reason and whatever, like, that society tells you to fucking deal with yeah, your problems. Yeah, facts. He is handling his loss very good. He and, always does. And he was... Well, oh yeah, because he, he lost that a different weight class, yeah, but yeah. this one he actually like it was a pretty serious loss for him because yeah. of the story and the way he handled it. I think he gained so many more fans for sure, dude. Because they for were sure. starting to be like, "You're boring this and that," but yeah, look at his look at his sister. You could tell which one she is. <laughs> Bro, the way she hops too. Oh, they're 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 identical. Yeah, knee. <laughs> Done. Oh my God. Look at her. There's another one of them. That's crazy. Imagine she comes up and grabs Amanda Nunez's title or some shit in like oh a year. Oh my God. Where did these this family come I from? I know it's insane scary looking nah, family bro. very um another thing in that fight i saw after the poirier chandler fight another sick fight sick poirier said after chandler he was like yo mike i was scared to fight you in a healthy spot yeah but he was like without fear there is no bravery yeah yeah that was a dope line it's sick it's true and i feel like i see you do a lot of shit like um when you got in that fight the first fight with ksi yeah and I was like, damn, he's really putting himself out there. You know, you're one of the first people on that big of a platform to risk your... At the time, we were like, yo, if he gets fucking knocked out... That's it. You're done. You're a meme. You're yeah. fucking... Everybody hated you. I mean, they I mean that's what they still wanted. true. That's still true, it's dude. It's still a thing. It's still true. But you put yourself out there yeah. and you'll handle it however. Like, look at that. You got a rematch now. You made double the money. And yeah. then you got another fight with Floyd. Like, yeah. all these things from you putting yourself out there, you know, without fear, there is no bravery. You wouldn't have done all that stuff. You didn't put yourself in these situations that are fearful you to, have to. to most people, you know? And I'm sure that it's even fearful to you because you're a human being, but you did it. And that's fucking, there's, I respect that a lot. Thanks, bro. When you're in that position, I don't think you can think about it too much because that's when you're going to tear yourself apart. It's like nothing, nothing. It's just to the do, right amount of stupidity. No, honestly, mixed with the right amount of courage. Courage. Yeah, I feel like he has that a lot because yeah. he he's very <laughs> very courageous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a one of a kind personality. Both these guys. You got to be know? just dumb enough to think you can do some shit, and just capable enough to actually be. Po it's possible. Like, and 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 I know sometimes it can yield good outcome. Magic. Yeah, that's the recipe. Just the right amount of stupidity. Just the right amount. <laughs> and a lot if of bravery. You, if you're just fucking stupid enough. Let's go fucking skydive, huh? You guys are really doing that tomorrow? Yeah. I tell you to come with that knee. We don't want to risk it. Nah, bro. I can't fucking... I mean, I guess that's fucking it, you know? Unless you, you, you want to do uh, some questions with people. Oh, like oh yeah, yeah, wait, wait. We have a caller, right? You have a caller? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. We have, we have uh, submissions. Video submissions. Oh, okay, video submissions. Jeff and Logan. Big fans of yours. Um... I'm actually just got to class. I um, thank you so much, Jeff, for what you've done for my mental health. I hope you are genuinely doing better with yours. Um, Logan, I bought my mom bought me a Maverick backpack no like way. three or four years ago, and it ripped in a month. She was bro heartbroken over it. It's, oh, it's a good month. Fuck that backpack. No, 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 you can't say um, that. Thank That's you it. so much, Bathroom Boys. I hope you guys are doing good. What a dickhead. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, thank you so much for helping him with my mental health. Logan, your fucking backpack fucking was back poor back, quality bro. back then. <laughs> Maverick has had a rebrand, and they are their stuff is dope now. You send me the packages. I don't even know if you know that they're getting sent to me, but... I didn't know we're still producing clothes, dog. Uh, I get I got the glasses. I get, like, random Oh, the glasses over are here. fucking sick. The, they I, are. I won't lie. I won't lie. The Steven glasses. stole them we, from me. Oh, we crushed Steven the glasses. lost them in Coachella. You stole them and lost them? Nice. No, I didn't steal them. Damn, we'll get you a new backpack, kid. 
Okay. Hey everyone at the Jeff FM team, I'm going to make it really short and simple. Uh, what's up, Logan, Paul? Uh, huge fan. I've been watching your content for a long time, Fuck and I've been yeah. watching your podcast, and I've been wanting to ask you this question since the first time I noticed it. Why do you talk in an Italian accent sometimes when you're speaking to different people? I see it. I hear it. I hate it. I want you to stop. And if, <laughs> like, if you're sitting there on the fucking couch right now and you want to say something, don't fucking say something. If you're sitting there, I will come over there and beat the fuck out of you. Damn. Right? You let Logan Ball talk, all right? Let him speak. Speak. He could fight his own battles, okay? <laughs> hey, what's up, Jeff? What's up, Oscar? What's up, Kyle? Hell Fuck yeah. you, Steven. <laughs> uh, Ryan, the leader, if you're sitting there, what's up, bro? Damn, oh, this guy's great. That's good. That's this guy's good great. Call. I you should get him on your show. What, what he said. What was he talking about? The it's uh, Italian, Italian accent. accent. So when I did the impression, I wasn't even doing an impression of you because I know that you talk kind of like how I, how I sound, like how you know. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'm just not, I'm gonna do my own voice for Logan." Smash that subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that subscribe button. You know. All right. So you want to know why? This is a good question. There's a reason. Yeah. When I was 18, uh, I was hanging around with some kids from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And I don't know In Ohio why. Or no, 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 no. I went to New York. And like these kids, I, I was hanging out with them a lot. And I picked up their their accent a little bit. Like I, I don't know why. I, I don't know. I was around them for long enough that I started kind of every now and then, especially when I get heated, mm -hmm. I talk like I'm from New York, which yeah. is which is. I'm not. I'm not from New York. I'm a fraud. But you hang out with Mike now. <laughs> me, uh, when I hang around him, I'm like, you know, he brings it out of me more, and I'm like, this fucking yeah, guy. But, gave yeah, me but a I'm not. Yeah, but you're from, st from you're from Staten York, Island. Man. Staten That's Island. That's like a whole different New York accent. That's like it. it I don't. Know, it's like its own thing. It's yeah, like they Liverpool. Say, they say and, water without a T, like water. No, it's. Yeah, I don't know what it. I don't know what it is. It's. Not, I don't. I don't without an R. Water. Water. Coffee. How you doing? Say some other things. What's some other things that you say? Cody, my new favorite thing is for the dead homies. <laughs> for the dead homies, Steven. <laughs> yeah, for mix that flower in there with Nerf. This is gonna be a sick, yeah. a sick next uh, 24 hours. Do you guys have anything you want to ask, uh, Logan? I know this is like. Yeah, what are you doing, in Puerto Rico? What is like? Just what train. Is there to do? Just train. What are you gonna do now in Puerto Rico? <clears throat> Rehab. Do you ever have FOMO of what's going on here? Never. I mean, especially now with a girlfriend, bro. Like, I don't. Yeah. What the fuck do I give a shit about? And then you just see everything on Mike's story. You're like, okay. Mike, you've been posting that girl in your story for, you know, years now. Everything that's interesting, Mike makes it a point to put it on his social media, you know? I know, he's a big flexor on social media, but you know, I he, feel like he's making up for lost time. And uh, you, uh, said, yeah. you said something really good when we were talking about Tate. And you said somebody, I, don't, I forget exactly how you said it, but somebody that brags about money that much and all of his things and women and shit like that. There's something going on there that's not genuine because anybody Dog. that I've ever come across in my life that actually has it and actually is actually doing it, Dog. they're a lot more humble. And it's just like it's cool for people who don't know affluent people, but if you're connected to or uh, have been around people who are actually like successful and actually mm -hmm. making money and actually pulling hose, they're not fucking talking about that shit. And if you are, I'm sorry. You're fucking lame. That's so lame. Like, what do you want to be around that person in real life? Which is fine if you do, but there's a difference between being entertained by it online because it is entertainment. Yeah, it's it's, it's, good. it's good. It's yeah. good programming. It's good media. Uh -huh. But like, bro, in real life, shut the fuck up, bro. I don't give a shit about your shit. I don't yeah. care about any of your stuff. How many girls you you fuck? Like, how big her ass was? Like, shut up. Uh huh. And, and, I, and I have to curb Mike sometimes too, but because you know he. He loves him. Got a little he, Tate in him. He, he loves. A little, he got a little. Yeah, he's making up for that lost time, you know. And so no, he's good so now. He's good tape. now. Yeah, bro. I mean, I mean, it's exciting, you know. In in your late thirties, you start making a lot of money. You get a lot of clout online. And you get in a that, second wind. In that way, I could see how that's exciting to someone who has not had that stuff. What are your thoughts on on Tate? Uh, I feel like he just found an avenue for himself and he ran with it. And um, a lot of shit he says, yeah. like. It makes sense, but a lot of shit, I think it's just an act because mm -hmm. like, you know. So I, yo, I just talked to Jake about this because yeah. Jake was just with him in Dubai. Apparently it's a fucking act. It's yeah, an act. Because they know? were face to face. It's a fucking yeah, act, bro. It's I like, think he's married to some Romanian girl and, oh, and yeah? he's just fucking trying to influence guys to do no, this. No, no, no. It's, 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 it's a show. I mean, bro, yeah, we, all, we all come in this yeah. room. We put on a show and our, a, a little amplified version of ourselves. Yeah, he's, he's just a character. He said, his, he said, Jake said his brother, Tristan. Yeah. I think his name is. He said he thinks Tristan is like a, a, a good, like solid, more like down to earth kind of guy in real yeah. life. Yeah, Which, so stop walking around saying I'm a top G. Don't do that shit <laughs> around oh, me no more. Shit. Oh, I don't do that. <laughs> I had this I had this vision that. this morning. 
I had this vision, real vivid in my head. We so it was uh, me and Andrew Tate finally did an MMA fight. We finally signed up for it. Wow, well, like okay. Paul is a bitch. Fuck, like uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's on the call right now. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do we have Tate calling right now? Logan That'd Paul be is a bitch. Wild. I'm coming. I'm coming in fucking hot. And fast. <laughs> yeah, man. I would, I, would, I would give you a heads up. Remember I did that with Jake and Cody? So funny. <laughs> I'm not, so I learned funny. my lesson, bro. I'm not. Why? That was great. Ambushes. That's good media. That's great. So you had a dream. I had this dream. How'd it go? Did it go your way? Split decision? No, I choked him out in 15 seconds. Yeah. I'm not kidding. 15 <laughs> seconds. And then I, 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 in this vision, I stood up and I look, I looked at him and I was, I was almost like disappointed for him. Yeah, because like I think that's what would happen. I think I'd fucking destroy him quick, and then look at him like that. Like you're that was the top G. That so was the what, guy. Did you go in like straight up like Hamza like grab him no, right away? No, shoot no, right you away. You know what I did? You know what I did? I grabbed the fence. The bell rang, and I grabbed the fence, and I didn't move. Mm -hmm. And then he tried to come in super hot, and then I just took his back and choked him out. It took, it took 15 seconds and, it, and, then, and, then, and then i even like went through the social afterwards and there's like a picture of me like pointing at it with a look like of confusion on my face and and the caption would be uh uh, uh the real top g like I, I play i play i play all these scenarios out in my Did head you have a post fight interview where you're like I didn't look get that far. you know I didn't get it's that all far. all the bad blood is done you know respect it's that's it this is combat sports I, you know? I didn't get that far i'm sure something like that would happen but like yeah bro i i, I like thinking about i like thinking about these these possibilities of us fighting they excite me they all are. right guys uh thank you logan for bro, doing the thank show you, bro thank you guys for watching and if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe bro what's good bro cpas i only say that when i'm doing you but it works